Now regarding these two things, investment expenditure and consumption, in this, <coughs> these two are very important, consumption expenditure and investment expenditure is very important. Now try to understand that investment expenditure plays a very important role for our economic growth. Now try to understand that the business people, what is investment expenditure? Expenditure made by the business firm especially to purchase capital goods. Capital goods are those goods which produce capital thing, which produce some goods. Okay, so that will result in production of goods. So if, if the business people is purchasing more capital goods, it means that there will be more production. If there is more production means there will be more uh, increase in the national income or growth in the national income. For that to happen, we need to ensure that the investment climate in India has to be investment friendly or business friendly. Then only the business firm or the corporate sector will invest more in India. And for that, one of the basic requirement, one of the basic requirement for to for increase. See, you tell me to increase the national income. What you have to do? We have to increase the we have to increase the investment expenditure. So to increase the investment expenditure, what support do you have to give to the business people? See, they require fund. Business firm or business people require fund. Basically, most of their expenditure will be or investment expenditure are from borrowed fund. They borrow from bank. Now this borrowed fund, so which interest rate regime will help them to go for more investment expenditure? It, the interest rate regime has to be, interest rate regime has to be low. It means that if they can, if they can get bank loan at a lower interest, if the business firm can get bank loan at a lower interest, that will result in more investment expenditure and that will create more economic growth. That's the reason why if you have noticed one thing, whenever RBI comes with bi-monthly monetary policy, the government always force or pressurize the RBI for what? For what? Because what the government require? Government want economy to grow and for the economy to grow, we need to ensure that we need to ensure that the investment expenditure has to rise. For the investment expenditure has to rise, what is required? Basic re uh, requirement is basic requirement is they have they can borrow fund at a lower interest rate. And when there is high interest rate, what will happen? The investment expenditure investment expenditure will come down. This is one critical factor. There are other factors also there. When there is no demand, see investment expenditure will come down if the interest rate is high. If the interest rate is low, they will go for it. Now think about the present situation. How demonetization have affected investment expenditure? Now since many of the people are not having, see, in, see try to understand that till November 8th or till now also we are a cash economy. What do you mean by cash economy? All our transactions, trading, everything is done in cash. Suddenly the government have withdrawn 86% of the currency. Now what will happen is, especially if you see the agriculture sector and many of the trading sector, they are not having cash to trade. So what will happen? The demand, demand because of less cash or no cash at all, the demand in many of the sectors have come down. Now once there is no demand, when there is no demand, will the uh, business firm will go for more investment expenditure? No. So the business climate or the investment climate have come down, reason not because of higher interest rate, because there is no demand at all. Just interrelating with the what is happening in India now. Now try to answer this question on investment expenditure. Question number one can answer it. <coughs> Module three, uh, <coughs> same first question. 2014 question. It is a question from which 2014. If the interest rate is decreased in an economy. So these terms are very important. What is the answer? It will increase the, it will increase the investment expenditure. Now try to understand, see in the choice say how, what they have done? They are given decrease, decrease, it will decrease. So that is wrong. Now try to understand, now think about the household sector. For the household sector also they want low interest rate. If their low interest rate is low, EMI is low, then again your consumption expenditure you will purchase durable goods or new durable goods. 
consumer goods. Now, if the interest rate is now what thou say, they are saying that the interest rate is uh, uh, decreased, obviously consumption expenditure will also increase. So, the statement A is wrong because they have given, they have given as decrease. Uh, if it has given as increase, that is also correct. You are getting the point, try to see why this statement is wrong, why the statement is correct. When the interest rate is low, when the interest rate is low, both the consumption expenditure and investment expenditure will increase, otherwise vice versa. Okay. So, answer is, for this question answer is, so now you will not forget that these two times of, see, term, see, if, when you hear the term, it looks very uh, something, you know, morning you feel that what is this consumption expenditure, what is this investment expenditure, but actually what it is? It's a very simple concept. Investment expenditure are expenditure incurred by the business firm. Consumption expenditure are expenditure incurred by the household sector. That knowledge is sufficient. And these two play. So now try to understand that now presently the national economic growth, the economic growth is influenced by who is who is uh, uh, moving forward our uh, economic growth. Now try to understand investment expenditure has have come down. Earlier, earlier this, this first two quarter of 2016-17 there were high consumption expenditure were there. Now in the third quarter we have to wait and watch what will happen. Now the consumption expenditure have also come down. Investment expenditure also have come down. Now who is there to increase the expenditure? The government. Then the government have to do it. No, nobody else is there. So, already since the, now try to understand that the 60 percentage of GDP, 60 to 70 percentage of GDP is coming from consumption expenditure. So, this consumption expenditure is coming down. Obviously, the third quarter and the fourth quarter of the present financial year will result in lesser demand or lesser expenditure from the household or lesser consumption expenditure. Similarly, from the business firms will also be wait for an appropriate time. Investment expenditure will also come down in this last two quarter of 2016-17. Uh, that is the reason why I told you that there will be economic, the growth will be around 6 percentage. Even though, even though the estimate says that, the first advance estimate says that it will be, it is 7.1. But the third, the trend what it is showing is the third quarter growth will be very low and obviously it will continue for the fourth quarter also. The 2016-17 uh, economic growth, then there is a chance that it will be somewhere between 6 to 6.5 percentage. Even though in the first two quarter, in the first two quarter the growth was above 7 percentage. In the first two quarter the growth was above 7 percentage. Just have an idea. So, this is sufficient for you. What is, what, what is investment expenditure? What is uh, consumption expenditure? And how the, how the national income is calculated through expenditure method by adding all the four expenditure and what is now there are certain terms which uh, uh, which is a measure of investment expenditure if you when you read the newspaper when you hear the word uh, gross private investment it means that investment expenditure only gross <coughs> the measure is like gross private if you hear that the gross private domestic investment have come down what does it mean it means that the in, it's a measure of investment expenditure it has come down just have an idea this term will come gross private domestic investment have come down or then here it will be consumption Cons consumption so just be clear with these uh, terms okay now try to understand that regarding this investment concept investment concept now here now in that question this term is also said total savings it's there in the word total savings now for an economy to grow for an economy to grow we require investment you know that we require investment for investment so investment can be made by the government it can be made by the business firm, even the household also can make investment. Okay. Now, for investment to happen, investment to happen, what is first required? Have you made any investment? Have you made any investment in any map? Just think about it. Yes, you have made it. Now, for that to happen, 
you might have invested in gold you might have invested in some uh, property or some thing like that but for that to happen for investment to happen what is the basic requirement you require savings you require first you have to save from your income that savings only the savings only you can use it for investment and investment results in capital formation investment another name for investment is capital formation investment results in capital formation and investment or capital formation results in growth what is growth here what is growth here gdp growth gdp growth 